friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 20th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for spring 2025. Pretty large plasma filament shot, equatorial region, northward. Most of the coronal mass ejections have been in the polar regions, not many shot out towards our planet. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, big arches of plasma, prominences erecting from the surface there, sunspot regions cresting into view, and as well turning away here the last 48 hours. This is where we saw the M-class solar flare, which did put us into a minor radio blackout impact having a look at multi-spectrum showing the last 48 hours of events pointing them out and as well showing the magnetic field of the coronal hole as we do have another big coronal hole region turning into view just finished with this one that was earth facing and as well diminished southern uh, polar region but now equatorial turning into view. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play and being a part of this channel. Having a look at sunspot regions in motion, speeding up a time lapse here. As you can see those fluid motions of sunspot regions. Amazing times to be able to share all of this information. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up for all the information shared and prepared. Having a look at nine sunspot regions. All of a sudden, we're, we've got ghost sunspots. We had 14 of them the other day. Now there's nine. A lot of them turned away. Current space weather conditions. We are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts still expected as well minor geomagnetic storm impacts solar winds are coming in at 425 kilometers per second still above average flare class showing that minor m class solar flare from yesterday other than that strong c class solar flare geomagnetic activity hopped up to a kp5 overnight and having a look now at our Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spirals. Bottom map showing the velocity of the coronal hole winds. Top map showing the plasma density of the solar storms. As those ones missed us. Now having a look at Lasco 3 wide spectrum. And again, I was noting that the coronal mass ejections were taken off from the polar regions. We also did just have one recently take off equatorial, but on the back side of our sun. As all of those sunspots that we were looking at last week are now on the back side. Watch for a lot of activity, I'm sure, during this Venus and Mercury retrograde. Planetary Positions report was just released a few nights ago with the volcanic activity. Please check it out. That's a look at the last 48 hours, and here's a look at tonight's Aurora View line and tomorrow's. A little better chance for tomorrow to see, but mostly across Canada. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it looks like it's picking up, and it is. Just under 200 earthquakes, but notable. Borrego Springs, California, all across the North American plate, seeing minor seismicity from the New Madrid and westward. USGS is reporting 298 earthquakes on this map right now. Notable and forecast regions being Alaska and as well California. Noted earlier, Barrego Springs. But we've also got these earthquakes that are piling up. Adak, Alaska, south of the Aleutian Islands. It started out with a 5.6 and has continued multiple aftershocks through the region moving northward towards the islands. Seen increased seismicity all through the Aleutian Islands, right up into the corner of Anchorage and Alaska, and up even further. 
Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. A lot of earthquakes are piling up. Los Angeles as well. East Los Angeles. Borrego Springs. A little bit of a pile up going on there. 27 earthquakes in the region. East Los Angeles is a rockin'. And as well, San Fran. Three minor earthquakes all around the bay. Clayton, 1.9. Dublin, 1.6. And Bolinas, 1.4. Earthquakes at the geysers, 48. That's a little low. That's going to pick up. And when that pick up picks up, we're going to be into the 300s, 400s. Stay aware and prepared. This is still brewing, my friends and family. Kilauea volcano just erupted as well. So, yeah, earthquakes piling up. Adak, Alaska. Notable earthquake here. Olia, Japan. And as well, a deep earthquake here. Indonesia, 4.3. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 559 kilometer depth. Fiji, 5.5 earthquake here. Mid-Indian Ridge, Somalia Plate, still. We also have a new volcano that has awakened. The African Plate, 4.2 there, Turkey, Turkey, and as well a 4.8 New Zealand, Afghanistan, or sorry, not New Zealand, Afghanistan. I don't know why it said New Zealand there. South Sandwich Islands, 5.5, and as well a 5.3 south and north of the subduction zone. 4.4 earthquake here in Chile, as well a 4.1 Arica, Chile. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. We are rocking and a moving. This is a look and at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. We have not seen a six magnitude earthquake in the last 17 in the last seven days. And for the last few nights, I've been putting out the earthquake warning because I'm expecting something big here. I could be wrong. Who knows? I'm not. A prophet, I'm a forecaster. Forecasted regions being Alaska, Juan de Fuca, and up into the Mediterranean, getting ready to pop. It could even be the Indian plate into Australia, New Zealand, and the Kermadec Trench. All around, stay aware and prepared, my friends and family, because springtime is upon us, and we're going to see the earthquakes increase as the seasons change and the pressure changes, the temperatures change. Having a look at the Kilauea volcano right now, this is showing infrared imagery of the caldera, the summit caldera of Kilauea. As it has erupted just recently, this is showing the last four hours of imagery as fresh magma erupted from the one cone well started off in two cones and then one cone got capped off and then the other cone took off spewing fountains of lava 800 feet tall eight stories tall this is a look at our sulfur dioxide emissions forecast brought to you by our 75 active and erupting volcanoes northern hemisphere is still inundated with some nasty air quality notable all around Australia and as well plumes coming out of the Mediterranean from Mount Etna India and as well overlooking Africa I told you about that new volcano that has erupted I forget the name but we're going to get to that also, big plume coming out through the Mediterranean from Mount Etna, as I said. Three-day forecast all across the Northern Hemisphere. Sulfur dioxide enriched atmosphere as well dust. Now, we've seen quite an extreme weather event rip across the United States, and it continues to do so daily. We normally get this. This is a strong low that was moving across the last two days, 
big dust storm whipped up through Texas, and that was thrown right up into all of the northeastern United States and Ontario. Washed the car two days ago, got up this morning, and there were literally dirty raindrops all over the car. So huge dust storm was swept eastward, northeastward, into the United States and Ontario. At the same time, multiple tornadoes have spawned. And as well, snow was falling on the backside of these systems as we're not quite done with winter yet. We've got about maybe two more systems with snow that will affect the United States. Maybe four more systems in Canada that will be bringing snow. This is early in the forecast, just showing satellite imagery of this strong system that came through. Look at the satellite imagery showing the snowfall that fell from pretty much from Colorado northward into Minneapolis, Milwaukee, even parts of Chicago. Look at that long line of snow. Probably got about 5 or 10 centimeters in some of these regions but it blew around as there were blizzard-like conditions from that very strong low-pressure system, wreaking havoc and extreme weather across the United States. Having looked now at world weather, pointing out the major systems that will be affecting North America this week, and as well, most of Europe, two low-pressure systems affecting the Mediterranean, three low-pressure systems affecting the United States, watch for extreme weather event, Right into April Fool's Day and a very strong low pressure system developing here forecast for the North Atlantic. And who knows where that will be going, but it looks like it's going to go straight northward towards Iceland. Overlooking Africa, Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia. No major cyclones developing, but lingering lows across northern parts of the continent through Australia. As well, multiple lows affecting parts of New Zealand this week. And then some pretty strong systems whipping out of the Tibetan Plateau, heading into Japan. Early possible typhoon forecast for the first week of April. Going to leave you here looking at the North Pacific as there's multiple strong and large low pressure systems. It will be affecting the West Coast pretty much from Washington northward. Watch for heavy snowfall, higher elevations, but mostly rain. As a high pressure ridge off the West Coast there is pumping up a lot of warm air. Spring's right around the corner, but not just yet. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your tube.